guys, it's me again. This time I want to show you a different setup for my EDC that I used to carry on my keychain. I don't know if you have seen this vi the keychain video before, but I have, you know, changed a couple things. Well, actually I changed a lot of things, basically almost all of it. And now what I do is I carry a pouch on my belt. I usually carry uh, some sort of pocket knife. Right now I'm carrying a Swiss army knife. And uh, now I'm carrying here is an other kit. This kit here has the difference that it's uh, also for personal protection while on the street. And that, what I mean by that is, you see this orange paracord here, it's actually some pepper spray ready to go right here. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you right on the table what, I, what else I carry in here. Let me take this off. There you go. The knife as well. So Here's what I have. The Swiss Army knife that I that I'm carry right now has the basic tools needed for everyday work and also for the outdoors. What I mean by the outdoors is the amazing Swiss Army saw, wood saw, which you all know. And uh also I have a file here which is good to cut metal or to smoothen surfaces even your nails you know you can smoothen your nails when you cut them but what I use most with this knife are obviously both of the blades right here I use the pliers a whole lot and I also love Swiss Army scissors they are the best I found on pocket knives yet. I also use a lot the Phillips head screwdriver and the awl right here on the back. But this video is gonna be about my, well you could call it EDC kind of survival pouch for urban environments. What I have in here is a sharpener but these cases come with a special sleeve right here for the sharpener. I use this a lot obviously to sharpen my the knife that I'm carrying. I have this small pepper spray which I attached a paracord lanyard for easy access. And this size happens to fit perfectly as you can see in this case. What else do I have here that I use almost every day? Is this small LED flashlight this is an uh, I don't know if you can see the brand here let's see if this focus well it's an Innova Innova one AAA battery and this gives out an amazing beam and it lasts a long time it has two settings if you press once it has I think 50 lumens if you press twice it has like 15 to save battery and you can also tighten the cap all the way and it stays on for convenience. What I also carry together tied with a small lanyard here is this small Swiss Army knife which I also use a lot. This one has scissors, it has a Phillips head, small Phillips head magnetized screwdriver and a bottle opener which I don't use that much. Almost all all bottles now are plastic and the ones that have a uh, the cap the tin cap on are mostly a uh, hand twist to remove has a couple of blades has a file and a flathead screwdriver and it has this thing right here which I've been told that it's used to peel oranges or to cut zip ties 
this also works great with the ferrocene right here. This sharp point throws amazing sparks. And that's the next thing that I carry here. It's a ferrocene rod with a, a piece of uh, magnesium to scrape shavings from the magnesium and then strike the flint and the magnesium burns up almost like uh, gunpowder. And in this little vial here, it's a, an aluminum waterproof vial, I have some small cotton balls covered with Vaseline. Let me unscrew this for you. I'm sorry for the shaking. I'm doing this one-handed. So right here I have, as you can see, I've used a couple of them. Some petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls, which work great to start a fire with a ferrocene rod. This is uh, not as convenient as a lighter. I usually carry a lighter in my pocket. But what I like about this is that this won't fail. You know, a lighter, if you get wet or you fall in the water or maybe your lighter breaks, then you're out of fire. But with this setup right here, it's uh, almost bomb proof. And I carry all of this conveniently in this Swiss Army knife case that I bought, mainly for the use of the pepper spray. Now, I like what I like about pepper spray is that, in my opinion, humble opinion, I think it's more effective than a knife. You know, for self for self defense, it's also safer than a knife. Maybe you don't you don't want to stab someone. You just want to, you know make him go away, you know, if someone's robbing you or if someone wants to pick a fight on you or whatever. This is a w very safe way to deter any attackers. And uh, what I, I, in my personal opinion, I also think it's safer than to carry a gun, for, say, for, for instance. If you carry a gun or a knife and you're in trouble right on the street, the most uh, common thing that would happen is that your adrenaline would rise so much and you would be so scared that your hands would be virtually shaking. You know, if you have a gun, you take the gun out and you were... <laughs> I don't think you will be able to point and shoot effectively unless you're a trained uh, gun carrier or user. But for normal people like me, or in, and here in my hometown where it's forbidden to carry a gun, you go to jail if you have a gun. I think this is the next best thing. You just aim at the face of your attacker, spray, and run away. So I carry this on the same side every time, making sure it doesn't get caught on anything, especially with the zip tie. I put it, I arrange it in a certain way that I can just pull the lanyard and the thing comes out smoothly. One handed operation, spray and run. So this is my update on my EDC that I carry on my belt. I hope uh, you like it, any comments, suggestions are welcome and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot for watching.